With the component created, we can now specify the configuration of our data source. Enter and run the following command in the next line of your script. Edge CMD set data source dash CID simulator dash endpoint URL OPC dot TCP colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 colon 49.32.0 dash use secure connection true. In this command, we are setting parameters for the data source property in our component called simulator. We set the endpoint URL to the address of our OPC UA simulator server on this machine and told it to use a secure connection. Now we can confirm that our configuration was applied by running the command edge cmd get data source dash cid simulator. We should see the details we entered previously returned to us. Once this is confirmed, let's review the logs to ensure our adapter connected successfully to the data source. Open Windows File Explorer. Click the Adapters pin folder on the left pane. This will bring you to C Program Data OSIsoft Adapters. Drill down further to the OPC UA, then Logs folder, and double click on the file beginning with Simulator Dash. This is the log file for our newly created component. The file will open in Notepad++ and will automatically update when new log messages are written to it. Look at the last couple of messages in the log. You should see a message about the OPC UA server certificate being rejected, as well as a message about the server certificate not being trusted. Also, there's a message about the connection failing. So we've configured the data source, but we can't connect because the certificate of the server isn't yet trusted. The next few steps will set up security on both sides, so the adapter trusts the server and the server trusts the adapter. We'll configure the adapter side first. Keep the log open, we'll need it later. Open Windows File Explorer and navigate to C, Program Data, OSIsoft, Adapters, OPC UA, Certificates. Note that this folder has several different subfolders. We're most interested in the rejected folder, which stores certificates that the adapter attempted to connect to that are unknown to it, and the trusted folder, which stores certificates of servers that are known. When we attempted to connect, a new certificate would have appeared in the rejected folder. We're going to move that certificate to the trusted folder. If you're reading the log carefully, this resolution was mentioned in the error message. From the certificates folder, navigate down to rejected, then certs. Right click and cut the certificate file you find inside the folder. Navigate back to the certificate folder and then down to trusted, then certs. Right click inside the folder and paste the certificate inside. Switch back to your Notepad++ window again and look at the logs. You may see some certificate warnings. Those can be ignored in this lab. But there is still an error that we can't connect to the OPC UA server. As the message says, we could enable debug logging for further details. But for the sake of this class, we will proceed with the process of fixing the server-side security because the server doesn't yet trust the adapter. Note, the upcoming steps configure security for the simulator we are using in this lab, Kept Server X. Every OPC UA server uses a different workflow to trust a client certificate. You should consult your OPC UA server vendor's documentation if proceeding through these steps in your own system. Expand the system tray in the bottom right of your window. Right click on the Kept Server X icon. Open OPC UA Configuration. Navigate to Trusted Clients. Right click on Aviva Adapter for OPC UA. Select Trust. Switch back to your Notepad window and look at the logs. You should see a message indicating that the adapter is now successfully connected to the server we specified at the beginning of this video. In this video, we configured a data source for the OPC UA adapter, resolved certificate issues, and verified connection of the adapter to the data source.